and horses speak of military strength. Yes. There are many nations who have much military power, much artillery, and so they put their trust in the military strength that they have. But I want to say that military strength can fail. And so we are encouraged not to put our trust in chariots or in horses, but we are encouraged to put our trust in the name of the Lord. Amen, that's right. The word of God reminds us, even in the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 7, why it is important to put our trust in God. He says, the Lord is good. The Lord, God is a good God. And he wants what is best for us, as long as we put our trust in him. He is good. And he's also a stronghold in the day of trouble. Yes, amen. Even when, amen. when trouble comes, and, and, it, and it's telling us here tonight that trouble will come. We are not exempted from trouble or challenges, whatever we try to call them. But we know that when we put our trust in God, he will be a stronghold or he will be a shelter or Amen. he will be a refuge for us Amen. because he knows those who take refuge in him. The wise man Solomon, having so much wisdom, he understood this. And he said in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, he says, trust in the Lord. And how do you do it? He says, with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. So I believe that the wise man Solomon was saying from this verse is that if we are going to trust in God, we have to do it with all of our hearts. Yes. And that is by giving him our lives, turning our lives over in his hand, accepting the grace that has come through the Lord Jesus Christ, whereby we are saved, and fully trusting him with our lives. He says that we are not supposed to lean to our own understanding. It is true that we have understanding of certain things, but we cannot depend on that. Sure. Because that will fail us at some point. Because sure. we never understand or know everything. Sometimes we fall short of knowledge and understanding. But he says, in all of your ways, as you put your trust in God, what must you do? You must acknowledge him. Yes. You see, what he is saying here is that you acknowledge that there's someone who is greater than you, someone who is omnipotent, someone who is omniscient, someone who is omnipresent, someone that holds all power in his hands. And so when we fall short, we can afford to put our trust in him because he will come true for us. Amen. He says, and he will direct Amen. our path. Amen. In other words, he will show us the way. He will shed light on our path because in life, there are some difficult times that we can go through. Yeah, Sometimes right. we come to certain times in our life, whether it's financial, whether it's physical, that sometimes we don't have the answers for. But by acknowledging God, the creator God, the one who has made us, he has promised us in his word he's going to show light on our path. Right? Amen, he's right. going to give us the wisdom and the understanding. He is going to direct our path. Amen. Proverbs says, as wise man continues to say in Proverbs 28, 26, he says, those who trust in themselves are fools. I didn't say that. The wise man said it. They are fools. But those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. When you walk in the wisdom and the word of God reminds us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so when you um, put God first in your life, you see, the wisdom of this world, the Bible describes it as sensual and also devilish. Right. And God has even confounded that wisdom of men when they think that they were wise, they became foolish. And so we have to put our trust in the wisdom of God Amen. so Amen. that we will be able to be kept safe. Psalms in verse um, 9, 10 tells us, those who give, know your name, trust in you. Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Those who know your name, they trust in you. You see, it is good to know God. It is good 
to have him as your Lord. Amen? And so as you know the Lord, as you have that understanding of him and allow him to rule in your hearts, I want to say, and I can join in with this summit, those who know the name of the Lord, trust in him. Amen. Because Amen. you recognize as you place your trust in him, because he knows best, he is going to work out things for you. Amen. He says, and you have never forsaken anyone who seeks Amen. in him. And we here tonight are not only quoting the word of God, but from our own personal experience. Because from the very first day when we place our trust in God, we see the Lord coming true for us. Amen. We right. see the Lord working up things on our behalf. Right. And despite of our challenges and our situations and problems that we experience from time to time, we see the Lord giving us his joy that right. helps us to maintain and to, to rise above the waters of life yes. and to be able to still come true That's right. on the other side. Amen. 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 As victorious. So we thank God tonight that we know his name. And as a result of knowing that name, we know who to call to when we do not know what to do. Amen. 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 Right. Psalms 37, verse 4 to 6 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. He says, Commit your way to the Lord, and do what? Trust in him, and he will act on your behalf. He will bring forth your righteousness as the new day. So, so the, how does it come about? You want God to work for you. You want breakthrough in your life. You want the Lord to do things in your family, in your business, and, and various aspects of your life. It calls for you to put that trust in God. And you do it by delighting in yourself in the Lord. Amen, amen. And he says, as you do that, he is going to grant you the desires of your heart. Amen. Many people are going in despair and are without hope and they, they're getting to a place where they're at their wits end and they don't know what to do. But tonight from the word of God, I am encouraging you to put your trust in God. Amen. Look, Amen. look to him. The psalmist says, I will look onto the hills, not only the hills, but to the Lord from whence coming my help. My help, yes, my yes. help comes from the Lord. And we want people to understand from the word of God that we preach that man can only help you to a certain point. That's right. Man of himself needs help. And That's if true. he of himself doesn't look to God, he cannot really help you enough. That's right. And so the one who's to help you when man fails is God. Amen. And so we are pointing people in his direction. Amen. I, Amen. I recognize that even within the church, sadly to say that some ministers, some leaders point people to them instead of pointing people to God. But our responsibility is, as ministers and as leaders, we are to point the people to God. Amen. Just like back in the time of Israel, when the Lord instructed Moses to build that brazen serpent. Many of the people there were bitten by the, by the scorpions. And he tell the servant of God, you make this brazen serpent, and as the people look to it, they will be healed. You see, just as that serpent was raised there in the wilderness, Jesus Christ was raised on Calvary's cross right. for our redemption, for our healing, for yeah. our transformation, for everything that you could ever think. He was raised on that cross for us. Yes, and yeah. it's by looking to him that we can be eternally saved, yeah. but not only eternally saved, by looking to him, he can provide the help that is necessary yes. for us in our daily lives. Amen. 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 Yes. You do not have to say we despair and, and go around living a hopeless life and saying to yourself, there's nobody to help me. Oh, nobody cares. I want to say to you tonight that Jesus, he cares for Amen. you. Amen. Jesus, he loves you. Amen. And he wants what is best for you. And I, I, you know, even as I minister from my heart tonight, I, I pray that people will hear this message and somehow it will turn their lives around. Amen. Because as we look around on the world globally, there's so much hopelessness. There's right. so much despair. Right. It looks as though everything is just chaotic. Right. But we are here 
Bringing a word in the midst of a chaotic world. Yes. Bringing yes. a word in the midst of where there is so much challenges on every hand and side. Yes. And we as the servants of God is saying to you, there is still hope. Amen. And you yes. can look to God tonight. Yes. And he, despite of what is happening around you, he can bring you through. He can still cause your head to rise oh, yeah. above the waters, oh, yeah. to right. rise above the storms, but it calls for you to put your trust in oh, him. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Psalm, Psalm 28 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song, I give thanks to him. He is your strength. Tonight you may be feeling weak even physically. You may be feeling weak even spiritually. But I want to say tonight that if you look to the Lord, he is able to renew your strength. He is able even to come out to be as a shield for you. And you know yeah. a shield in the natural is there to protect. Yes, to protect right. from the darks, to protect right. from the arrows. Yeah. God can be your strength. And he can also be your shield. Right. Praise the name of the Lord. And so you can put your trust in him as you look to him. The word of God tells us in Isaiah chapter 40, he says, they that wait upon the Lord. He says he's going to renew oh, yes. their strength. Right. They're going to mount up with wings as eagles. Right. They're going to right. run and not be weary. They're going to walk and not faint. How does that come about? By waiting on the Lord, by putting your, your trust in Him. Right. And He comes by. I don't know, I can't explain to you how He does it. But, but right, I tell you, many right. times when I was weak physically, maybe even spiritually, he, you call on the name of the Lord yeah. and He comes by and succor you and provides that nourishment, that strength that you're able to go on. Yeah. So I encourage you, wherever you are, you may be on your hospital bed tonight, you may be in a private geriatric home, whatever, something that is, has come upon you suddenly. You do not have the answers. You don't know what to do. Maybe you have even lost your job uh, as that one the only breadwinner in that home. You do not have to commit suicide. That's right. Amen. You do Amen. not have to give up hope tonight. That's right. I am encouraging that if you put your trust in God, God is able to make a way for you where they seem right now, as you look at it, everything seems dark and dismal. But God is able to make a way for you where there is no way. Amen. This is the word of God tonight. Isaiah continued to encourage us in Isaiah 26, verse 3. He says, you keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is yeah. stayed on yeah. you. Yeah. Why? Because he trusts in you. Amen. I want to tell you, you can have peace. You can have spiritual peace where you become settled and you know that, you know, you, you have this awareness that, look, God is going to work it out. Amen. God yeah. is in control. Yeah. I, I, I want to stand here tonight and I want to really thank God for his peace. Amen. Amen. It is the peace of God that is keeping us regardless of the situations that are around us. That's right. And we thank God he, he keeps you in perfect peace. You know, the Lord says that he's going to give us the peace, not that the, how the world gives yes. it to us, because the world will give you peace. And uh, by this, tonight, before we end this program, oh, Lord. they come back and rob you of that peace. Jesus. But the yeah. peace that God gives to you yeah. it is the peace that passes all understanding yeah. that storms can be all around you. The world, our nation could be in so much um, economic um, turmoil. But in the midst of it, because you have your trust in God, you are there yet at perfect peace Amen. in God. Amen. It's such a beautiful thing to know Amen. God. Amen. It's such a wonderful thing to put your trust Amen. in Him. Amen. And we just don't want this for ourselves. We want you to, to experience this, this this um, trust, this Amen. that God has for you, yes. we want you to experience it as well. The word of God says in Psalm 91, there's so much words, or there's so much scriptures that shows us the importance or the benefits of putting our trust in him. He says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Right. He continues to say, I will say of the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him, in him will I trust. Right. This shows the, 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 the personal relationship that this writer of this psalm has, knowing his God. 
he understands that as he knows his God, he is going to be protected. Amen. As you put your trust in God, he, he will protect you Amen. from Amen. all harm and all danger. When you get a chance, you can read this entire psalm. You see what the psalm says that the Lord will protect you from the snare of the fowl, the noise of pestilence, the yeah. arrow that fled by no day. All of these things, as a result of putting your trust in God, you do not need to walk around being afraid. Having to look around behind you, and having, you, you can't walk around in peace. But when you put your trust in God, you can come under that shelter of the Most High. Amen? Amen. Amen. And God will become a refuge and a fortress. Amen. A fortress is a place that, you know, that is safe. Yes. And a refuge is a, a place of shelter, even in times of war. God can become that for you. Maybe tonight, as I speak, you may not be having a physical war, but maybe a spiritual war right. in your minds or even in your family. I want to say if you trust in God, oh, mighty God, doesn't matter how long it takes, God, as you put your trust in him, God is going to work it out for you right. in the name right. of Jesus. Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8 says, blessed is the man. You want to be blessed? You want to be blessed naturally and spiritually? Then it begins by putting your trust in the Lord. It says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear even when he comes. For its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Isn't Amen. that a blessed Amen. life Amen. as a result of putting your trust in God that Amen. even in the time of drought or Amen. in the time of famine, you have nothing to fear? Because you know that these things, when you put your trust in God, they're just seasonal. Yeah. They're just tests. They're just trials and different things that God uh, is passing through. Just as how Isaiah 43, 2 to 3 tells us that when you pass through the waters, yes. he said, I am going to be with you. Yes. And through the rivers, he says, they shall not overwhelm you. Right. When you walk through the fire, he said, you shall not be burned. Yes. And the flame yes. shall not consume yes. you. Yes. For I am the Lord. Your God, yes. the Holy yes. One of Israel, your Savior. Yes. So when you put your trust in God, God will represent you yes. through all the changing things of life. Yes. In every ebb and every flow, God will be right there beside you. I know at times when you are going through some times, it feels as though he's not there. But I want to reassure you tonight, that is the time when he is very near Amen. and more nearer than you think. Amen. Even as the one who wrote that uh, poem about the footprints in the sand. Yes. That is the very time when you feel that God is not there. He is carrying you. Right. And tonight uh, I know he is carrying some of you even right. as you put your trust in him. Right. Amen. And as I end off tonight, Psalm 118 verse 8 says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord or to trust in him. He says that to trust a man. First Peter 5, 7 says, casting all of your cares or your anxieties. What are you worrying about tonight? Is it, is it your future? Is it, is it a family problem? Is it a loss of something, a either loss of a job, a loss of a loved one? something that you're going through, some big challenge? Is it a sickness or infirmity that the doctors don't have the answer? Oh, many diagnoses, but still no answer. What is it that has you tossed and turned? What is it that has you, uh, just with you, you, you seem as though that you are just at risk and you're weak because you, you become exhausted after you have been through so much. But I want to say to you, even though you are dear right now, God is sending this word to you tonight to let you know if you just but look to him, yes. if you just but cast your eyes in his direction, yes. and if you just call up to the Lord right now, right now, yes. wherever you are, and say, you don't have to be any long prayer, say, Lord, help me. Yes. Lord, save me. I need your help. I guarantee you tonight as you do that, he will come out to your help in the name of Jesus.
So, Father, even now in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Yes, even Lord. as your word has gone forth, yes, we pray, God, that it will reach the hearts of men. Yes, Father, Lord. God, we pray that this word will be a source of strength, yes, a source of encouragement, yes, Jesus, a source Lord. of uplifting yes, those who are in despair tonight, yes, those Lord. that may not know where the next meal or what the next answer will be. Jesus. Father, God, we have trusted in you yes. and you have never made us ashamed. Oh, I hallelujah. pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus that Lord. you will cause them right now upon hearing this word yes, that Lord. faith would enter their hearts. Yes, Lord. Yes, and Lord, Lord, another time yes. they will look to you, Never the Jesus. God of heaven, the God of earth, the God who have made them. And Lord, you will cause them to have that faith to trust in you again yes. Yes, and Lord. to get up and to shake themselves yes, and to look forward that, to the hope that you have given them. Yes, Father, Jesus. we thank you tonight for this radio broadcast. Yes, and we pray, God, that it will be a blessing to all those who have tuned in. Yes, so Lord. until next Monday night, God's willing, yes, this is, has been the Rebuilder of the Walls program coming to you from the Guyana Tabernacle, Marshall and Parkinson, Gap, Fairfield Road, St. Michael. If you choose to want to reach us, please call us at 622-1934. Or you can email us at gltabernacle at gmail.com. So until next time, God richly bless you and have a wonderful night. Amen. Amen.